So this is how I use a cordelette on a big wall. For starters, I set it up with about a 20 foot piece of either five or 5.5 millimeter spectra or dyneema. Or if you're gonna use nylon, use about seven millimeter. Uh, it's total preference. The spectra is obviously lighter and can be easier to manage, but the nylon is more dynamic. So theoretically it's gonna absorb falls better if there was that type of fall on an anchor, which is pretty rare, which is why I usually just go with spectra. But the key difference between this and a lot of cordelettes, I don't tie the two ends together. I tie figure eights on a bite. The reason is it makes it easy to get four pieces in. If I were to tie these together, then I could generally only get three pieces in an anchor. And it, on a big wall, if you uh, have a natural anchor, you almost always want four pieces. You're just gonna have much better peace of mind. So, and as a, a benefit to having the two figure eights on the end, if I wanted to do three, I could just clip both figure eights to one piece. So on a big wall, you always wanna reach as high as you can for the pieces because by the time we're done, the master point's gonna be pretty low. And so that's gonna make it a lot harder to haul, especially if I'm on like a nice little ledge, the master point's way down here, suddenly hauling's gonna be way less comfortable. So I put the pieces as high as I can, clip a, pe a beaner to each as high as I can. So directly into the cam instead of the little nylon uh, webbing part. And, uh, and then I just clip one figure eight on the top piece, one figure eight on the bottom piece, and then the other two pieces kind of estimate the right amount and you bring it all together. This is where it can be nice to have like a beaner to kind of pull it and get it so it's perfectly the right amount. And then just tie my overhand, my figure eight on a bite, whatever you call that. And you have a super bomber four piece natural anchor to haul off. And uh, I might clip you know another piece off with a clove hitch down here just so that when the second is jugging this isn't moving around as much but the safest thing is always just to create a super bomber master point and then do everything off it you know clip the hauler in here clip the uh, second in here clip myself in here and uh, then when it's time to undo it all you do is Start with the master point, undo that, undo each piece, and I just take the ends, fold it in half, fold it in half again, and then just do one overhand knot, and that goes on the back of the harness and is ready for the next pitch. And that's uh, setting up a cordelette on a big wall or you know a multi-pitch trad climb if you wanted to put it in four pieces and have a really really bomber anchor